Damn, that movie was freaking fire. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and this is not normally what I do when I review things, but I'm gonna go with the raw review format where I'm just going straight off the dome and just telling you guys why you go need to go watch this freaking movie right now. First things first, this is like the first time in a long time that they've tried to do an actual live action adaptation of Mortal Kombat. If I do remember correctly, there was some kind of like live action TV series that, I mean, didn't really air on TV, but it went straight to like YouTube, if I'm remembering this correctly, but you can get it on Blu-ray at this point in time. I'll have an image to show you guys exactly what I'm referring to. But before that, we didn't really have the most traditional of traditional movie adaptations. As a matter of fact, video games as it is today are kind of known for having very, 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 very bad movie adaptations. But I'm not gonna lie, in the recent years, it seems like things have actually been kind of working themselves out. People are getting their, their ish together, if you, if you feel me. And I feel like with video games, especially like looking back at like Detective Pikachu, I feel like that was a very, very good start to how a great adaptation of a video game should be brought to light in the movie theaters, or in this case, you know, just at all in in a movie kind of format because obviously I did not go see it in the theater. I saw it right off HBO Max, so you already know how that goes. But as far as Mortal Kombat goes for 2021, let me tell you, as a fan of fighting games and for the, the surprise of how much lore that I actually remembered of Mortal Kombat, I really do feel like they did a fantastic job. The characters were all likable in different ways. And the fact that it was just delivered in the way that it was, I felt like they hit just enough nuances and nods at the actual video game that I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. You, We got the finish him. We got a fatality call out. We got the get over here. We got a bunch of iconic moves, and let alone all the fatalities that we got. I'm not trying to spoil too much, obviously, but listen, I'm. Uh, I should probably do a spoiler warning right now, just in case. But nah, this, this, this. If you have any doubts, if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, and if you are really wondering if the film is gonna be good or not, if it's gonna be like a like a successor, if you even want to call it that, I can confirm for you guys right now without giving too much detail that it is way more than a successor. I'm actually looking forward to a sequel because they did set up the ending kind of nice with um, a certain favorite character that unfortunately didn't make the appearance in the film up until, you know, this very little tease as to what may come next. Probably one of my favorite parts was just the overall build and the story setting up the, the Lin Kuei and the Scorpions tribe. Like, like I said, from the lore that I remember, okay, because I don't remember all of the, the, the terminology, like the Rio something, the Ryu Hasha something. I don't, I literally, like I said, I'm being completely honest and blunt, just so you guys understand where I'm coming from and how excited and hyped that I was to, to, to see and tell you guys that you guys absolutely go, need to go see this movie right now. It's out now, it's available on HBO Max, it is in theaters. So please go see it. They, they like I said, they they hit every nail. It was it's it's, it's very mature. So definitely, uh, you know, you're gonna hear some f bombs, and you're obviously, of course, going to see a lot of blood, maybe some missing limbs and whatnot. But like I said, I do feel like the story was set up right, and I feel like for the characters that they did give us, they definitely showed them enough, and they had a decent amount of build for those types of characters that were in the film just fine i feel like and actually and, the, and now that i think about it thinking about how the movie ended and where the, the direction that it might go it, the, the the ending basically let us know that hey when we come back you're gonna see a lot more of the characters that you may not have seen in the, this first film because of course as you guys might already know mortal kombat has been around since the 90s literally I would say the rival to Street Fighter in a sense. This one pretty much came out, out after Street Fighter, but um, you know, Street Fighter to this day hasn't even had a true adaptation outside of you know fan film projects and whatnot. And the last one that I can remember for Street Fighter was like The Legend of Chun Li. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't consider that one a, a true successor of a good movie adaptation. But man, as far as Mortal Kombat is concerned, I'm very impressed. I was very, very happy with it. I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to seeing when the next one will come out. Hopefully it'll come out a lot sooner than later, but usually how it goes with some of these movies is 
It usually it's like every other year. I'd, I'd be surprised if it was like a yearly thing, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Now, is it hype enough? Is, does it get me hype enough to want to go back and play Mortal Kombat 11? Mm, yes, I'm not gonna lie. I do wanna. I, I wanna get that itch scratched, if that makes sense. But I. I have other things I need to get to. So, without further ado, let me know what you guys thought about the movie if you've seen it, and if you've got if you've taken anything away from this review and you're going to see it after watching me talk about it and hype it up because like I am I am literally giving it my stamp of approval that this is a great film. You need to see it, especially if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat. And I'm not gonna lie, more than just playing 11, I would rather just go back and play two and Ultimate three because those are probably. Some of the ones that I have personally played a lot of in the past. And hold up, where the hell is my remake of Shaolin Monks? Can we please get that? Ed Boon, please, if you're watching this, please, my man, do me a favor, okay? Please remaster, remake Shaolin Monks. I mean, you had, you had my homies Liu Kang and Kung Lao in the film. Please give me Shaolin Monks. Anywho, like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description, as always. Please take care of yourselves. May the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.